Let me show you how can how you can add Slack notifications about successful and failed builds, pull request changes as well as commit updates. So let's go into Slack. As you see here, we receive notifications about the pull request, edit reviewers, um, as well as like approved, reviewed or declined pull request as well as reopen pull request merge one. So you can see you had notifications for many things. Last and then when you merge a pull request, you got a notification about a successful build, which contains tons of useful information, like a build description of course, status and commit message. So now let me show you how you can achieve this. So imagine you have a Slack channel where you want to add notifications. You will jump into integrations, click here to add an app, and here you will pick incoming of hooks configuration and click configure. Uh, as you see, we do we are doing this to get and coming a hook URL for Slack to, is to send notifications from a third party system. In this case, third party system is a, is a bit bucket. So, as you see, we configure here the URL, we copy it, then we can hold either to repository settings, we can hold to the project settings, or if you're a global admin, you also can go to Slack settings in the system settings. All of them look the same, except they're configuring stuff on different... So I will do it on a repository level. As you see, I will say that my repository settings overwrite uh, global and project settings. And here I will enable configuration for pull requests. It could be a compact, minimal, with very little information, basically a one-liner, as well as a verbose where you have tons of useful information, including source, destination for pull requests, commit information, and so on. So here are the events which you may want to get notified about like open pull request and open declined reviewers added and so on so as you see i picked everything in this case but for some scenarios you don't want to pick all of them because it may be too noisy below you can configure notifications for pushes uh, as well as status builds so the status builds are a way for bitbucket to receive information from a third party system like jenkins azure devops bitbucket pipelines and so on basically system which builds your source code. Here you can see, and you can configure the type of notifications you're getting. Personal notifications, so some notifications for forks, because you may want to work a repo, then work on it. Uh, in this case, you want to add notifications for those forks. Here you would put a Slack channel, name, it's an optional field, so, but it makes the configuration look nicer. And here's the field where we put our incoming hook URL. As you see, you also can use auth token, but in this case, we use a simpler way for, of upcoming the pull URLs. Another way to make notification look nicer, here you would put an icon which you want to see in Slack for each notification. So, now let's save it. And now we can jump into a quick test. So let's see, we have a source code. Let's do our big change here. Change, we do a commit. change and for example we will use a ticket number here uh issue the, the demo change uh here we'll create a pull request continue add a couple of users we to review our pull request of course uh all the English and then demo pull request so we'll create one. This should trigger a notification in, in the channel. As you see, it's bold. So we open the pull request, which is pretty good. So the next step is, is basically to get an approval of this pull request by someone. So, so we have a pull request here. So now assume a user ask us to do some changes, so he reviewed, but the changes are not very nice. So after some additional changes, well, let's say pull request got up, approved. Uh, and now, now it's time to merge the pull request. So we'll basically merge it, delete our feature branch. And as you see, it will trigger another notification. In this scenario, we want to 
uh, simulate a feature branch. So we are doing this with, uh, in this case, with a postman. So imagine there is a successful build from a third party system. It came around. So we see in the Slack, in the Slack channel that the build was successful, but let's assume it was unsuccessful. Then, in case of unsuccessful build, we will get another notification saying the build with this seat was triggered by admin and it was not successful. So this is a quick demo of Slack integration with Bitbucket. It's done using a Atlas and Marketplace application called Slack Notifications for Bitbucket. So give it a go and don't forget to subscribe and like this content if you like it. And by the way, please comment with your uh, video content request. Thank you very much.